So, um, ladies and gentlemen, when doing a problem like this, I think the easiest thing to be able to do is obviously to separate this into two different problems. We know we have basically what we have is 6 over 18 times x to the eighth divided by x cubed. Now, I obviously didn't go over um, 6 over 18 because that's obviously just a fraction, right? And um, yes, I could have probably brought up your memory again on this stuff. But um, in this portion, that you know, this is not something we go through. So again, what does exactly does this fraction represent? This fraction says, how many times does 18 divide into 6? 6 divided by 18 states, how many times does 18 divide into 6? Guys, 18 is larger than 6. You can't divide the larger number evenly into the smaller number. So it doesn't evenly divide. So what we need to do is reduce the fraction. Just like, I, just like we do over here, guys, is 1 half the same thing as 3 sixths? Yes. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? But what's the simplified fraction? The 1 half, right? Because here, you can divide the top and the bottom by 3. And when you divide the top and bottom by 3, what do you get? 1 half. So is this a simplified fraction? Yes. Can you divide a, the, a number in the numerator and the denomina yes. denominator? What number? 6. So what happens if you divide a 6 out of the numerator and a 6 out of the denominator? You get 1 third. Then, over here, what, what rules of exponents are we going to use? We're going to use the quotient, right? So we're going to subtract them. So this becomes x to the 8 minus 3, which gives you 1 third times x to the 5th which that's in the numerator, right? So your final answer, you guys can write, is x to the fifth divided by 3. Because that's really times one over 1. OK, so I would like 1 over